Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the implementation of a boolean function using 74153 that is multiplexer IC. Let us start. 74153 IC is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So now let us first of all have a quick revision what is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. A 4 cross 1 multiplexer is going to have total 4 input signals C0, C1, C2 and C3 and uh, we are supposed to have two select lines a b and uh, only one output signal is going to be there which is y that is 4 cross 1 multiplexer now about the operation in 4 cross 1 multiplexer when the select lines are 0 0 output is c0 when the select lines are 0 1 c1 is output select lines 1 0 c2 is output and select lines 1 1 c3 is output so this is your 4 cross 1 multiplexer now the pin diagram 74153IC is having total 16 pins starting from this notch notch below notch we always start with pin number 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we have anti clockwise direction 9 till 16 so this is how our all the pin numbers are going to work pin number 1 is known as strobe pin basically this is strobe bar bar if a bar is mentioned on any pin that signifies that the pin is active low pin what is active low pin when a low signal is given the pin will become active hence pin number one which is actually enable or stroke pin must be connected with ground 74153 IC is used for the implementation of total 2 4 cross 1 multiplexer so initially let me show it to you as well as you can see 1 is written on multiple different pins so 1 means the first multiplexer so we have 4 input signals for the first multiplexer 1 output signal for the first multiplexer and A and B are our select lines similarly the second multiplexer is written as 2 numeric 2 so 2 means the second multiplexer as I have told you that we are supposed to have 2 4 cross 1 multiplexers available in 74153 IC so C0, C1, C2, C3, these are 4 input signals, Y is output. Similarly, C0, C1, C2, C3, 4 input signals, Y output. But the select lines are going to be common for both the multiplexes. That means the same select lines A, B, pin number 2 and pin number 14 will be used for first multiplexer as well as second multiplexer. Pin number 8, ground. Pin number 16, VCC. Now, strobe 1 bar is for first multiplexer stroke 2 bar is for second multiplexer so bar means active low pin so it must be connected with ground hence if you want to use first multiplexer pin number 1 must be connected with ground and if you want to use second multiplexer then pin number 15 must be connected with ground next is the testing of IC how we can test the given IC Starting with the enable pin that is strobe. As already discussed that the strobe pin is active low pin. That means it must be connected with low signal, zero signal. Then only it will start working. So over here in this truth table, H stands for high voltage that means 1. L stands for low voltage that is 0. And X is don't care term that means it can have any value. It will not have any effect on our output signal. Let us discuss. When the enable pin is high. So, our multiplexer has not been enabled yet. So, at that time, doesn't matter what is the value of select lines, input signals. The output is always going to be a low signal. That is 0. Now, when we have started providing the enable signal to be equal to 0, because active low pin, so 0 means our multiplexer will start working now. Then only our multiplexer will give us the outputs. Starting with the first case, when the select lines are 0, 0. So, when the select lines are 0, 0, output is C0. So, if C0 is low, output is low. If C0 is high, output is high. Doesn't matter what is the value of the remaining input signals. The output will not change. Second case, 0, 1. So, when the select lines are 0, 1, output is C1. So, if C1 is 0, output is 0. C1 is 1, output is 1. Third case, when the select lines are 1, 0. For 1, 0, output is C2. You can have a look over here. When C2 is low, output is low. When C2 is high, output is high. 
and the last case is 1 1 that is high high signal for that C3 is going to be the output. So in this manner you can also test the multiplexer IC on the digital trainer kit whether your multiplexer IC is working perfectly fine or not. Now here I have taken one example. Uh, I have considered this quotient that implement the given boolean expression using 74153 multiplexer IC and I have taken 1, 2, 6 and 7. But you can implement any random quotient as well based on SOP, POS, maybe any other boolean expression as well with the help of same format which I am going to follow right now. So here comes our quotient 1, 2, 6 and 7. So the first task is going to be write down the truth table. So for the truth table as we have total 3 select lines over here, A, B, C 3 select lines. So total 8 combinations are available over here. 1, 2, 6 and 7. So here comes 1, 2, 6 and 7. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 6 and 1, 1, 1, 7. So all these entries I have filled with the value 1 because the portion belongs to SOP. On the other hand, the remaining values are filled with 0. So this is how you can write down any random given portion into the truth table. Once we have received the truth table, now it will become very easy to simplify using multiplexer IC. Now in multiplexer IC, we are only having two select lines which will be mapped with two variables here A and B. So now how you will be able to continue with the remaining value because for the given boolean expression we have to make the connections of all the three variables as per the given quotient that is ABC. Although A and B will be connected directly with the two select lines. Let us start. When select lines are 0, 0, output is C0, 0, 1, C1, 1, 0, C2 and uh, 1, 1, C3. Now let us calculate the value of C0, C1, C2, C3 as per the given quotient. So when C is 0, Y is 0. C is 1, Y is 1. That means Y is exactly replica of C. Hence, C0 is equal to C. Second case, C0, Y1 and uh, when C is 1, Y is 0. So that means Y is getting a complement output. Complement output means C1 is equal to C bar. Third case, C0, Y0, C1 still Y0. That means Y is 0 for both the cases. It doesn't matter what is the value of C it will remain to be equal to 0. 0 means low voltage level, that is ground. Similarly, C0, Y1 and C1 still Y1. That means Y is 1. For both the cases, doesn't matter what is the value of C. So 1 means high voltage level, that is VCC. So now here we have calculated the value C0, C1, C2, C3 as per the given Boolean function. Now the connections. As already discussed, pin number 1 is going to be connected with ground. Pin number 2 and pin number 14 will be connected with A and B because right now we are going to have 3 input signals as per the given boolean function. Now C0, the value that we have calculated for C0 at is C. So hence C will be directly connected with C0. The value for C1, it was C bar. So how to calculate C bar? For the given boolean expression, we require 7404 IC as well. That is the IC number of NOT gate because you we want C bar as well. So let us drag pin number 6 to pin number 1. That means we have given C signal to pin number 1 of NOT gate. Pin number 2 now will become C bar. Hence pin number 2 will be connected with pin number 5 of 74153. That means we have given C1 to be equal to C bar. After that C2 ground, C3 VCC, pin number 8 ground, pin number 16 VCC and pin number 7 output. Also, do not forget to connect ground and VCC at pin number 7 and 14 respectively to 7404 IC that is not gate. So, this is all about your connections. Now, let us see how this these connections are going to work on our operators as well. 